Getting your first job as a junior developer can be the most difficult part of your whole technical career. And many people have different stories. For some people, it just took them maybe a few months after getting into tech. And for some other people, it took them to the point of considering their career choices before they got their first job. Now, different people with different stories. But then, fortunately, they all got their first job. And this is the inspiration behind this new series that I'll be creating on my YouTube channel. Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dillion. And on my space here, I share my career experiences and also my life experiences. If these are content you're interested in, then kindly hit the subscribe button. This video is a start of a new series that I'll be creating on my channel. And this is the introduction. Now, what is this series all about? In this series, I'll be interviewing different developers, junior and mid developers, asking them to share their stories about how they got their first job as a junior developer. And what's the inspiration behind this series? Now, I already stated a bit of it at the beginning of this video, but then as developers, we all have different stories. We all have different decisions that we made, different things that we did differently, um, the different things we're engaged in. For some, it could be technical writing. For some, it could be attending events. We all have different stories that, at the end of the day, helped us get our first job. And one thing with the tech space is, at least so I believe, after getting your first job, it's slightly easier to get other jobs because now you have a you have some work experience something as proof that you have experience but then getting that first job sometimes it can be hard to really convince recruiters that I, I have experience like believe me i have experience but yeah these different people different developers i'll be interviewing they are going to share their stories and in this video i'm going to be interviewing myself but don't worry it's going to be a short interview because i already have this video where i share how i got my first job so that has full information but i'll just be briefly interviewing myself just to you know open the stage now for this developers i have a couple of questions i'll be asking them and this is a non-exhaustive list and if there is any particular question you'd love me to ask these developers and it's not in this list then kindly let me know in the comment section i may not pick every question suggestions because i don't want the video to be very long but yeah you can share them and i'll hopefully ask them for the questions i'll be asking these developers uh, the first one that i have on my list is what were you doing before you got your first job just to hear from them. Don't worry, I'm going to answer these questions after I share these uh, questions. I'm going to answer it like I'm interviewing myself. And number two, I'm also going to ask them what did they do differently in the application process or before applying to these companies? What was that one thing or two things that they did differently that they believed worked for them or helped them get that first job? Thirdly, I'll be asking them how was their experience with their first job? Like, did they get to the job and instead of working on this framework, they're working on that framework and maybe they found the whole process hard or they found the process easy or they found the process fun or they found the process boring. We'll be hearing all of that too. And then fourthly, I'm also going to ask them what part of their previous experiences made that first job, um, uh, should I say, easy for them to get? Like, uh, what were they involved in? Was it like community speaking? Was it like um, events? Was it technical writing? What was that thing that just made the first job kind of like maybe they had an advantage in getting that first job? I'll be asking that too. The fifth question is I'm going to be asking, did they meet all the requirements of the job? Now, some of them may not remember all the requirements, but I have the question in my list. So I'll be asking them, did they meet all the requirements in the job? And if they didn't meet those requirements, what were the requirements that they met? Was it like 50% or 60%? What were those requirements that they met that gave them the confidence to apply? And the last question I currently have on my list is, how was their approach when applying to these jobs? Um, how was the structure of their cover letters? Like, did they make research or did they reach out directly to a recruiter or do they go on Twitter and they're like, I'm looking for a new job? So they're going to be sharing what they did, their approach to getting their first job. These are the questions. And like I said, your suggestions would be appreciated. So if there are specific questions you also love me to ask them, drop it in the comment section so i'm also going to be answering these questions because i'm doing an interview with myself but like i said you can check out the previous reference 
the previous reference video where I share um, how I got my first job. So I'm just going to summarize my answers for these questions. The first one is, what was I doing before getting my first job? I was a technical writer and I had written for a few organizations, um, paid, so I write an article and they pay me. So yeah, that's what I was doing. And I also worked as a freelancer. I didn't get so many clients. In fact, I got just two clients. The first one was free <laughs> and the second one, I got it on Upwork. So that's what I was doing before I got my first full-time job. The second question is, what did I do differently that helped me get my job? Now, like I mentioned in the referenced video, one thing that I did differently was I was persistent and I was always asking for feedback after every rejection. You know, it's one thing when you get a rejection, you're like, oh, you know what, whatever, take your job and go. <laughs> but for me, I always asked for feedback, like, what am I doing wrong? What exactly is making you not consider my application? Like, where did I fail? And some of them will tell me it's my location. Some of them will tell me and they need five years of experience, but I have just two. And, you know, they're just like different reasons. And all of these things really helped me to know where to work on in terms of feedback. And I was also persistent in some cases. And that was how I got my first job. So I got a rejection email, but I was like, hey, look, I know you're looking for um, like three years or four years of experience and you feel like I don't have those years. But I can prove that I, I know my stuff. I know my craft. And they gave me a project. And I did the project, um, maybe not perfect, but at least I showed that I had those skills. And I asked for feedback on the project. They gave me feedback. And they didn't immediately give me the job. But like a month or two months later, I just got an email from the company like, hey, I love how persistent you were. And we currently have an opening, which I believe is very suitable for you. And that was how I got my first job. So one thing I did differently was persistence the third question is how was my experience getting my first job what was different so i think what was different for me was um it was my first full-time job the first time i was really working with people so i didn't exactly like at the first few months i didn't exactly know how to really um collaborate my communication skills were like poor because i mean i've mostly been working by myself as a freelancer or just writing my articles i submit to a team and they review it and they get back to me i haven't directly worked with people so my communication skills at the beginning was poor i didn't really know how to carry people along but yeah with time i learned it and also i was hoping i would work on like you know just front-end stuff but i was also exposed to other parts of web development and even a little of back-end so you know at the end of the day i had like so many experience, of course, not like professional experience, but I had basic experience in different frameworks, in different languages that I didn't expect to have experience of. So that was my experience with my first job. Uh, there is more to it, of course, but I'm just trying to summarize it in this video. And the fourth one is, did I meet all the requirements of the job? Did I? Well, truthfully, I cannot remember all the requirements of the job. All I knew was the main requirement was you should know React because you'll be doing React stuff. And I was a React um, intermediate as a then. I won't really call myself a React expert now anyways. But yeah, I had experience with React. And yeah, that was the major requirement. And then every other thing were like you write articles and stuff, stuff, stuff. But yeah. The fifth question is... Um, what part of your previous experiences do you think make this job possible for you? So I think um, technical writing really um, showed recruiters that I know how to teach and I know how to, you know, learn new stuff and also write about it. And I think another experience too that helped me was I had a project that I could easily use to show that, hey, I said I know React, right? Look at this project. I built it with React. I say I also have little experience with backend technologies, right? Look at this project. I worked on the APIs, the database, the authentications. So project, having a, a project that I could show and also being a technical writer were two things that I believe really helped me to get my first job. The fifth question, or I think the last question, is um, how was my approach when applying to jobs and do I structure my cover letter? So yes, I have a structure for my cover letter and I'll leave a link to the cover letter templates in the video description. You can check that out. Um, I've had like um, over 10 testimonies of people whom the cover letters had like grant them their first interviews. So yeah, this is me also preaching about my cover letter. You can check the video description for the link. But yes, I had a structure for my cover letter. And when applying to jobs, I try as much as possible not to just apply like 
I'm applying to 1,000 jobs and I'm just like the same thing, send to this person, that person, this person, that person. I always try to tailor my cover letters to the company and that means I have to make my research about the company. So I go on their website, check their team page, check the products they're working on. Sometimes I also check their GitHub repositories so that, you know, making my research, by the time I'm writing a cover letter, I can really tailor it like, hey, I know your company is working on this and I also know you're looking for somebody who can do this. Yes, also to add, I read job descriptions like from the beginning to the end. So I'm like, I know your job, you want this kind of person. I am that kind of person. You want this kind of person. I am that kind of person. You want somebody who has done this. Oh, I have done a lot of it. So yeah, I make sure to do my research. I make sure to read the job descriptions correctly um, perfectly. And then I also write, have a structure for my cover letters where I'm able to easily outline my past experience and what makes me fit for the job. So that's really it for a short interview with myself. But don't worry, in the next upcoming videos, you won't be seeing myself. I mean, you'll be seeing me, but I'll be interviewing other people so they can share their different stories. Another thing I want to add is my story may not work for you. Persons B's story may not work for you. But the goal is you are able to pick one thing from me, pick one thing from person B, pick one thing from person C, and then use all of these tips to really improve your process for applying to jobs or for being good as a developer. Like from me, you could pick persistence. From another person, you could pick maybe they are involved in more open source work. From person C, you could pick maybe they are involved in more community events and that was what made the job easy for them. Just different things just to, you know, help you because I know how hard it can be. I know how hard it took me to get my first um, job. And I know for some people, it even took them longer. So yeah, that's just the purpose of all these stories. In addition to all these videos, I'll also be writing a summary on my website. So when I have an interview with one person, I'm going to have a summary. I'm like, okay, these are the key points, you know, answers to these questions. I'm going to also highlight them. This was what this person did. This was what that person did that made it easy for them. So... This is what I'll be doing and I hope you really enjoy this series and I really hope it be, it's fruitful for you. You begin to see changes and you get that first job or it could be your second job. I mean, you may have a different reason for watching this video. But yeah, like I said, leave questions in the comment section if there are specific questions you'd love me to ask these people. I know I've already interviewed myself, so I will just write my own answer in the comment section. But here, you're going to hear from all of these people and I hope you really enjoy them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Please do and also like this video and whoever you believe would benefit from this series or this particular video also share. So see you in my next video.